Opera GX is a popular gaming web browser that you've probably seen being sponsored by your favorite YouTuber. However, the company itself is pretty bad and you're probably unaware of what makes it so bad because it has this good reputation with the YouTube community. But there's a lot of things that Opera GX is involved in that range anywhere from like, okay, that's a little bit bad, you're in timeout, to oh my god, how are they getting away with this? And we're gonna get into all of that, but if you guys enjoy these videos where I go more into depth on certain topics and I do like actual research, let me know down in the comments. Opera GX's goal is to come across as relatable to Gen Z gamers by posting memes and anything that they think will connect them to their desired demographic so that in turn they download their Chinese spyware. This includes making tweets where you're self-aware of the fact that during Pride Month all corporations make their profile picture a rainbow so they can make more sales or something. And listen, if that's what needs to be written for you to like a tweet, then hey, I mean, they're doing something right. But there's something very predatory to me when a company like Opera GX is making these tweets tweets, knowing that Gen Z gamers that use Discord and YouTube are gonna eat them up and love them, especially when this is all backed up with faces like Moist Critical, because the impressionable Gen Zer will download OperaGX.exe having actually no idea what they just put on their hard drive. Now don't worry, we're gonna get into why the actual software is a problem. Some other things with their Twitter account is they will literally reply to random people that comment on their tweets. With this example, OperaGX tweeted trans rights and some random guy replied with Opera Opera GX L, and they replied to this guy saying, no, 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 sir, we've actually posted a W. Which, first of all, how are you even employed? Like, who's paying you to do this? This guy has zero effect on your business, none. But you want to square up with this guy for what reason? I don't get it. Now this guy's gonna get a bunch of hate comments from the Opera GX heads, which, you know, I'm not saying they can't reply to him because he'll get hate comments. But like, you have this massive company with enough money to pay off Moist Critical and other big YouTubers, and they're way of seeming progressive is to like respond to random people that reply to their tweets who type the letter L on their keyboard and they're probably 15 years old, let's just be honest. Now do I think that just replying to a tweet is overboard? Nah, I really don't. But like replying to someone's tweet and then tweeting about replying to somebody's tweet and then tweeting about the person whose tweet you replied to getting banned? Like I think that's just overboard. If this was one person or like a streamer versus a streamer then I get it but like dude you're a company. It is you as a corporation with your millions and millions of dollars and your high follower count on Twitter versus actual random scrubs probably in their mid to late teens. I feel like Kanye West secretly runs this Twitter account, like they're so unhinged. With Kanye though, you can actually think of some excuses, like he's bipolar, he's mentally ill, he has a lot of problems, he's unfiltered. Dude, this is Opera GX. <laughs> Another thing I really didn't like was when they publicly supported crime. Leafy tweeted, Girlfriend of three years just broke up with me and keyed my car. Not a joke. F all women. Now obviously him making it about women in general is bad. I don't support that wording. And I think a lot more people would support his tweet if he just said like, Oh, this girlfriend's crazy. I don't like this girlfriend or this ex or whatever. He didn't have to say, Oh, I don't like women, right? Like, that's a horrible way to put it. That being said, if what he said is true, like his girlfriend keyed his car, I mean, that's like literally, that's a crime. He also says, She threw a beer at the window and cracked it, she needs to pay. Now, I totally understand why somebody wouldn't like Leafy is here. I can actually think of like 30 reasons off the top of my head why somebody wouldn't like him. But I can say that exact same thing for a lot of influencers, but I still wouldn't wish for those influencers or public figures to have their car keyed and beer thrown at their car to crack their windows. That's violent. I don't support violence. And a lot of people were saying that it's justified for this to happen to him simply because he like doesn't support transgenders, which I don't find any relevant there. Either way, Opera GX responds by saying, she really put the W in woman. This was written by a keyboard warrior. I would go as far to say a keyboard gladiator, because you don't say that about somebody. That you support them getting attacked in real life. Like, okay, was he physically harmed? No. I would argue that somebody throwing a beer bottle in your general direction jeopardizes your safety. Nobody who I've beefed with on the internet deserves to have that happen to them. But you know, Opera GX seems to really support it, so maybe if I went to the Opera GX HQ and I found somebody sitting in the Opera GX company car in Minecraft, right? And I threw some rocks at their car and maybe maybe a beer bottle and then I keyed their car in Minecraft, of course. Would I be uh, worthy of a W? Would you say that that's a W thing to do? I'm gonna guess probably not. I would say you wouldn't like that very much. My point is don't support like aggravated assault or crime or whatever you can classify throwing a beer bottle as...
For those wondering what the GX in Opera GX stands for, well, it stands for Great Xi Jinping, you know, the leader of China. Opera GX is so obviously Chinese spyware, you know, the whole program data mines for the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. I think their strategy isn't really to hide it, but rather to direct your attention to their horrible Twitter account. Let's just dive into all the data. So Opera GX is owned by Opera, and Opera is owned by Beijing Kunlun Tech Co. <laughs> Uh-oh. Before we get into Opera, why don't we just learn a little bit more about Beijing Kunlun? Well, one of their biggest business decisions was their acquisition of Grindr, a gay hookup app, in 2016. Beijing Kunlun acquired a 60% stake in Grindr, not because the Chinese are, you know, all too fond of gay people, matter of fact, they're actually quite homophobic, but as you can imagine, they bought it for the same reason they bought Opera, because they want to make money and they want to collect data. Now, this acquisition of Grindr actually became a international concern, because the app collects sensitive personal information from users and and the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, after taking a closer look at the acquisition, basically pressured Beijing Kunlun into selling all of its stake in Grindr. So the US basically realized, oh, these guys are just trying to spy on people and collect data. Like, can we not do that? And they were like, okay, yeah, we'll sell our shares. Now, Beijing Kunlun also bought Opera the same year they bought Grindr, because I guess 2016 was the year of data mining. Makes sense. We had an election. But they didn't buy 60%, like with Grindr. They bought a 100% stake in Opera's subsidiary. And it makes perfect sense. If you want to collect user data, a web browser is, I'd say, one of the best ways to do it. No, actually, I'd say it is the best way to do it. At least with Chrome, I can feel kind of good knowing that all the data they're collecting from me, while it is probably going to Silicon Valley, it's staying domestic. Whereas if you're on Opera GX, I don't even know why you would have it, but like if you're on there watching YouTube, some fat guy in Beijing with horrible posture can see that you're watching a James Charles video. One of the things that Opera GX boasts about is that it has a free VPN inside of it, but if you think that your free VPN isn't logging everything you do still, you're insane. The whole idea of a VPN is that so the government won't steal your data, they can't see what you're doing, and that your precious data will be encrypted and not compromised. But my brother in Christ, the US government isn't getting it, the Chinese government is. But the overall selling point of Opera GX is that you can have all these customizable features within it. You can set limits on CPU, RAM, and network usage, use Discord and Twitch from the sidebar, connect mobile desktop browsers with file sharing flow feature. File sharing flow feature? Control the network usage and CPU usage? This thing, if I had to guess, has way more access to your computer than Chrome does. When I raised concerns about this on Twitter, basically saying that they mine data for the Chinese Communist Party, I was blocked on Twitter for seemingly making a fair claim based on what I've seen, but I guess they didn't like it, they had to block me, which makes sense. You know, when you see a young man like me spitting facts in the timeline, the best thing you can do is just block me because, realistically, you know you're in the wrong. 